Although keeping the Sabbath is a commandment, God does not want us to treat the Sabbath as a chore we are forced to do. God intended for Sabbath to be a blessing and joy for man. God created Sabbath for man's sake, so Sabbath itself is a blessing to us. Through keeping the Sabbath, we receive more benefits and blessings. God is so almighty and high above us, but He makes a way for us as His people to understand who He is. And keep my Sabbaths holy, that they may be a sign between me and you, that you may know that I am the Lord your God. Ezekiel chapter 20, verse 20. This goes beyond merely knowing of God. Knowing God is to have a true relationship with Him, in which He acknowledges that He is our God. It is to find favor in His sight. Sabbath serves as a sign between us and Him as our God, so that we can be assured of His relationship with us. God took the initiative in giving us the Sabbath. We are blessed that He acted first to give us something good and to lead us to Himself, before we ourselves knew Him or did anything for Him. The Sabbath is a sign of the great privilege we have to have a personal relationship with God. This is why God emphasizes the importance of Sabbath in Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. You are to speak to the people of Israel and say, Above all, you shall keep my Sabbaths, for this is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that you may know that I, the Lord, sanctify you. Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. God said to keep the Sabbath, quote, above all, unquote, for the purpose of knowing that God is the one who sanctifies us. Just as God set the Sabbath day apart as to be special, God is the one who sets us apart. It is not us who chose God, but He who chose us. It is His great love that makes it possible for us to be part of this precious relationship. We were all once foreigners to God, but we are joined to Him through keeping the Sabbath. Keeping the Sabbath helps us to remember that out of all the people there are, He chose us to be His cherished people. Our sanctification is only possible through a process of redemption in which we were delivered from our old lives and sins and freely given a new life and status that we did not earn or deserve. God gives this blessing of a day of rest to everyone, from the king to the maidservants and even to the animals, showing God cares for everyone equally. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 12, God says that this rest is so that we may be refreshed. When we cease from our labor and our own works on the Sabbath, we receive physical and mental rest. God said that the Sabbath rest was to be kept every week, regardless of whether the people were in a busy season. For example, even if it was during plowing time or the harvest season. However, God does not want us to worry about not having enough for our daily needs if we lay aside our work on the Sabbath day. He promises to provide for our daily needs. In fact, the very first time that the word, quote, Sabbath, unquote, is mentioned in the Bible is in Exodus chapter 16, when God told the Israelites not to gather food on the Sabbath. He said that He would make what they gathered the previous day enough for two days. This was to show that because God desired to give man the Sabbath, God would also provide for man's needs. If we have the faith to rest on the Sabbath and not do our own work, we can receive the blessings He desires to give us in Isaiah chapter 58, verses 13 and 14. If you turn back your foot from the Sabbath, from doing your pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight and the holy day of the Lord honorable, if you honor it, not going your own ways or seeking your own pleasure or talking idly, then you shall take the light in the Lord, and I will make you ride on the heights of the earth. I will feed you with the heritage of Jacob your father, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Isaiah chapter 58, verses 13 and 14. To those who honor the Sabbath, the blessings that God promises with His own mouth are that He will cause the person to ride the heights of the earth and to eat of the heritage of Jacob. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 13 tells us that riding on the heights of the earth represents God's providence for our needs. In the difficult seasons in our lives, we will not be abandoned or overlooked. His providence shows His great care for us. He not only sees, but will also take action to come to our aid. Though we may be in hard times, His care for us will come through. The God who makes all and holds all things in His hand will be as attentive to us as a mother nurturing her child. Because of all the blessings we receive physically and spiritually, 
Sabbath will be a great joy to us. If we treat Sabbath as, quote, a delight, unquote, then we will find our, quote, delight in the Lord, unquote. The joy we receive will come from Him. With this, we can keep the Sabbath with a heart of gratitude for the amazing works He has done in our lives.